So let us see firmware today. Firmware, as you know, we have two very common words in computer science, software and hardware. This firmware is somewhat related to them also. Firmware is actually a software program or set of instructions which are programmed on a hardware device. That is why it is firm means it cannot be changed firm firmly stuck to the hardware device and what is this which is stuck this is a software program these uh, firmwares are the layers between our hardware and software they are also called as embedded software so if somebody asks what is embedded software we can call them firmware as well they are non-volatile means they are non-changing and they are installed on ROM. ROM means read only memory and this type of ROMs so that they are non-volatile and they cannot be changed or also in on the flash chips. This is the place where these firmware reside. This is our hardware and these are all our uh, software. These, some are uh, you know system applications some are your application operating system is there for example the bios basic input output system which is found in uh, any uh, i am i am say just take example ibm compatible pcs so the bios which is found is generally firmware uh, the os on a router this is also firmware also the menus which you find in your iPod are firmware. Also, Xbox 360 dashboard, this is also an example of your firmware. So, firmware is in almost every electronic device you can think of. So, what exactly these firmwares do? This enables the device to render its capabilities function or functional. Then, uh, the coordinates the activities of hardware during normal operation and they contain programming constructs which are used to perform these operations so coordination is also one of the tasks of this firmware for example uh, a modem you take a modem the firmware will be a factor or the coordinator which establish or help in establishing the modem's data rate the set recognition for the commands and also some special feature implementation. So how was it developed? This uh, firmware developed using low level programming languages or machine language. This is important. Firmware is written in machine language or low level programming languages. The development cycle is as complicated as our regular software development and developer, they must have a deep understanding of the hardware also of the hardware of the product as well as, as well as the programming skills they possess and this must be well tested this line is very short but it contains a lot of meaning because once you have made it and you have firmly attached it to the hardware device there is no looking back firmwares are upgradable they are portable they are also open source and closed source what do we mean when we say that they are upgradable this in the past uh, firmware chips could not be rewritten that is what i was saying that there is no coming back so but the bios became outdated the only option was to buy a new motherboard this was happening uh, some years earlier but now most firmwares can be updated because it is stored in the flash memory, not on the ROMs. So flashing uh, firmware is also risky as device will not boot if the flashing process is interrupted or becomes corrupted. So this also is, uh, you know, you have to take a lot of care doing this. So one of the most common devices to have regular firmware updates are your Recording device such as your optical media writers DVD CD HD and Blu-ray When we talk about the portability or portable 
uh, in the past, most devices are on their own firmware. But over the years, manufacturers have found that the loading the firmware from the host system is both cheaper and more flexible. So, uh, the current hardware, they are unable to function in any useful way until the host computer has fed it the requisite or right firmware. So, this firmware load is handled by your device driver. This is in a, a program. Uh, device driver is a program which is responsible for loading these firmwares. And devices like this wireless card, Interpro wireless, you know, various versions. The driver is in the kernel or Linux kernel if we talk about this OS Linux. But you have to put the firmware into some specific library like slash lib slash firmware before you can uh, even use the device. So the firmware folder in your Linux is this slash lib slash firmware. Now today we are talking about open source. So firmware are open source availability. Uh, also firmware has this availability of openness. Open source are those programs which whose codes are open under various licenses. For example, we have firmware for various routers, Linux BIOS is there, Open BIOS is there. Basic input output system, this BIOS, a firmware code run by any any system like IBM compatible PC. This runs when the computer is powered on and it initializes several motherboard components and peripherals. For example, processors, caches, chipset, memory, graphic controller, mass storage controller, various I.O. controllers. Finally, it loads the bootloader for the OS and they transfers control to it. Uh, more recently, the BIOS has taken one more complex function such as power management, that is hot swapping and thermal management. Also, we have extensible firmware interface EFI, which was invented to extend BIOS functionality while reducing the complexity. These are Linux BIOS, open BIOS having all those EFIs. These are the efforts which are being taken. So firmware is very important because it is the link between hardware and software and firmware is getting more and more important 